there's nothing crazy different about these lip glosses nothing that you probably don't already have in your collection hey guys welcome back to my channel for those who are new here welcome to the lipstick swatch family my name is shemaine and i do lipstick swatches for those who have been with me i thank you for your continued support so in today's video i am going to be swatching this is a set from Tarte. It's called the Tarte Hug and Kisses Fall Feels Set. And that's the back of it. To be honest, I've had this in my cart for quite some time and I may have forgotten about it. I saved it under my favorites as well. So when I was going through, I saw this and I was like, oh, I forgot about this. I like the colors that I was seeing, so I picked it up. And um, yeah, so it's supposed to be like a fall collection. I'm excited to see how it's gonna smell and how they're gonna swatch. This is also for $25 and I got it on Sephora. So let's just jump right into the swatches. All right, so we are gonna go down the line get this out of the set and I am gonna start with this one right here this is the shade candy apple uh, it looks yeah these also have shimmers in them and Mmm, that smells good. Let's give you a hand swatch. It's looking pretty subtle, the glitters that is, that's in there. It's like a sheer color. Doesn't look like it's gonna be too pigmented. Yeah, that's just what I thought, that it's like a sheer natural finish. And I think that's what was on the box as well. It says high performance naturals. The feeling of comfort, joy, and coziness. So these are not supposed to be like super pigmented glosses. I think the purpose is I think they give you the option to kind of like wear it on your own or wear it on its own or use it as toppers. Ah, oh, the formula is good though. This day, it smells so good. These smell so good. So this is Candy Apple. As you can see, it's very sheer, even the glitters in it, it's very sheer. And uh, it's nothing too crazy or extravagant. It's just a very subtle, simple, and natural looking gloss. So if you're that someone who don't like a lot of attention with your glosses or a lot of sparkles, these will make a great lip gloss for you. I actually like it, it's simple, it's not like really different from any other regular lip gloss that I own, but it's still good to have it in my collection. And it's so creamy. That's the thing about Tarte's formulas. They are the best. They have the creamiest formulas that I know, especially when it comes to their glosses. Mmm, that honestly feels so good. So if you guys like this color, then just give me a thumbs up or leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you think. Second shade up is called Cinnamon. So obviously you can tell there's a theme here. They're all like autumn based themes. So that was Candy Apple. Now we have Cinnamon. And Cinnamon is looking more like a nude color, like a brown, bronzy nude color. Oh my gosh, it smells so so good. Ooh. 
Yeah, these are all going to be share. This one, well, you know, it's not a bad share. I love the smell. Oh my gosh. I would wear this just for the smell. Obviously, if you are sensitive to smells, you would want to stay away from these because the fragrance is, it's not overwhelming, but some of us are, some of us just need a little bit and it kind of gives us a headache. So if you're that person, then these are not for you because these do give off a very delicious, beautiful scent. Like I said, it's not overpowering, it's just subtle and pleasant and I like that. So this is cinnamon. And cinnamon looks like a natural, looks like my natural lips, looks like my lips, but better. I can deal with that. But like I said, there is nothing crazy different about these lip glosses. Nothing that you probably don't already have in your collection. So you don't really need to go out of your way to get these. I mean, they smell really good. So if you're all about that life, then definitely go for it. But this, um, is a shade that you probably already have in your collection. I'm just saying. It works for everything and every event. It's simple, hassle-free, low maintenance. That's the kind of lip gloss that I like. And this is what this is giving me. So we're down to our last shade here. So lastly, but not leastly, we have Creme Brulee. Ooh. This is a goldeny, yellowy, shimmery shade. I feel like I've been swatching a lot of golden tones or golden toned lip colors lately just because it's about the holiday vibes. So there's a lot of sparkles going on. I've been doing a lot of sparkly swatches and don't get me wrong, they're fun, but I am just like a little bit over the sparkles. <laughs> All right, so hand swatch for you guys. That's pretty too. Very subtle. Uh, oh, did I mention the name? Oh yeah, I did, creme brulee. I was trying to see what it smelled like and I kind of get, I get cake from it. By the way, these are, these are a little bit sticky. So don't buy it when you hear someone says that a lip gloss is not sticky. No. Lies.com. Lies.com. All lip glosses have some degree of stickiness, so don't ever buy it when they say that a lip gloss is like sticky free or completely non-sticky. It's not true. Some glosses are just stickier than others, um, but I find that all lip glosses are somewhat sticky. They're sticky to some degree, and I've swatched a lot of lip glosses and there is not one that I've found that's completely non-sticky. So yeah, that is complete BS if someone says, it's not sticky at all. It won't get on your hair. It will. 
It will, it doesn't matter what you do. It will get on your hair. Um, it lasts all day. Anything with a glossy finish will not last all day because it will transfer. So especially lip glosses. Which lip gloss do you know lasts all day? I mean, some last longer than others, but it will transfer at the end of the day and you just have to keep reapplying it. That's what a lip gloss is. So, so let's just, let's just set that straight. Anyways, this one is like pretty much the same thing. They're very subtle and simple and sheer. So they're perfect for someone who, like I said, don't like a lot of attention. You want your lips to be popping and glossy and juicy, but you want less of all the sparkles and shimmers, then these would make the perfect glosses for you. And did I mention they smell good? I think I did. What do you guys think? All right, so what do I think about tarts, hug and kisses? Honestly, it's a very simple, subtle set of lip glosses. They pretty much give you that my lips but better look. So they are made to just kind of blend with your lips and just enhance them a little bit more. And I also find that they would be perfect to wear on their own or you can choose to wear it over a lipstick. You can go either way with it. Also, the formula is very hydrating. When I took each of the colors off as I was swatching, I find that my lips were still very moisturized and hydrated afterwards. It didn't feel drying at all. And I find that Tarte is very consistent with that hydrating formula. And that's why I, I like their, their products, honestly, because it doesn't matter what I wear from Tarte, my lips always feel very soft and supple afterwards because it really does lock in moisture so for that reason i still enjoy wearing their products but that's all i got for you guys if you enjoyed this video make sure to go ahead and give me a thumbs up also don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because i don't know how else you're going to be notified when i post a video i don't do smoke signals I don't write letters, I just yeah, post videos and if you don't click the bell then you will not know. But that's all I got and I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in my next swatch video. Bye!